guys. Just making this small video to ask you guys a question. I went in today to send out some nail polish um, from a video that I had posted out a while ago. And I went into the post office and it's crazy. Okay, let me start at the beginning. I took a box in with wrapped up nail polish, individually wrapped in bubble wrap, bottles of nail polish in a box that I purchased from them and I had them weigh the box. Tell me the weight. I let the postal worker know what was in the box. She said it was not an issue. It would only have it would have to go ground. We could not send it by air, which I already knew this because I've been sending out nail products for the last couple years and I've been receiving nail products, you know, polish all that last couple years. So, I go in there with the box ready to go to ship it off and the guy asks me what's in the box. Me being the honest person that I am, tell him there are bottles of fingernail polish individually wrapped in bubble wrap inside the box. The box wasn't that big. He tells me we can't ship it. And I says, why can't you ship it? You guys have shipped it in the past. And I said, I've done this a million times. And he says, that's what everybody says. And he says, this is considered a hazmat box. We cannot ship it. It's a hazard. And I said, I don't understand that. Because, I mean, I just got a, a shipment of $45, I mean, excuse me, 45 bottles of polish that stated polish on it in the mail not too long ago. And he says, well, there is a limit on how many you can send. I said, well, there's definitely not 45 bottles of polish in there. And um, so after waiting like 25 minutes for him to go in the back and consult with somebody and look at lists and stuff, he comes out with all these stickers that he puts all over the box saying, you know, no air, which is understandable, has met, whatever. I don't, I don't even know what all the stickers were. And he said that he was going to go ahead and place the shipment that if it did not work, that he would have to send it back to me and gave me the tracking number. So I'm wondering how, if anybody actually knows the laws with the USPS on sending packages with nail products in it, because I've gotten nail products before and had no problem with it. So if you guys can, let me know how you guys go about it the honest way. I want to know the honest way. I don't want to know if you've you know, shipped something off and said there wasn't polish in it when there really was because that's, you know, that's a, another way around it, but I won't do that because I'm not going to be dishonest. So if you guys um, know the laws and why they did that all of a sudden, I would love to know why. So talk to you later. Until next time, cherish the ones you love. Be blessed.